Make me a channel of your peace Where there is hatred let me bring your love Where there is injury your pardon Lord And where there's doubt true faith in you Make me a channel of your peace there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there's darkness, only light. Where there's sadness, ever joy. Oh, Master, grant that I may never see. So much to be consoled as to console To be understood as to understand To be loved as to love with all my soul Make me a channel of your peace In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the feast of St. Joseph. The Catholic Church considered him to the protector of the universal church. He is also known as terror of demons and the patron of fathers and family. On this altar, let us offer all our prayers through Saint Joseph. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy on us, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth Peace to His people of good will Glory to God in the highest and on earth Peace to His people of good will We praise You, we bless You, we adore You We glorify You, we give You thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, Lamb of God, 
Son of the Father You take away the sins of the world Have mercy on us You take away the sins of the world Receive our prayer You are seated at the right hand of the Father have mercy on us For you alone are the Holy One You alone are the Lord You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit In the glory of God the Father ah, Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by Saint Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginning you enriched to his faithful care through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord God will give to him the throne of his father, David. A reading from the second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verses 4 to 5 and 12 to 14 and 16. The praise of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, thus says the Lord. When your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you, who shall come from your body, and I will establish his kingdom. I shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. His descendants shall continue forever. His descendants shall continue forever I will sing forever of your mercies O Lord through all ages my mouth will proclaim your fidelity I have declared your mercy is established forever your fidelity stands firm as the heavens his descendants shall continue forever. With my chosen one, I have made a covenant. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your descendants forever and set up your throne through all ages. His descendants shall continue He will call out to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock of my salvation. I will keep my faithful love for him always. With him, my covenant shall last. His descendants shall continue forever. His descendants shall continue forever. The second reading. A reading from the book of Romans, chapter 4, verses 13 and following. Brethren, the promise of Abraham and 
his offspring that would be heir of the world did not come through the law but through the righteousness of faith that is why it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring not only to the adherent of the law but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham who is the father of us all as it is written i have made you the father of many nations in the presence of the god in whom he believed who gives life into existence the things that do not exist in hope he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations as he had been told so shall your offspring be that is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness the word of the lord thanks be to god kindly rise to welcome the gospel praise and honor to you lord jesus christ praise and honor to you lord jesus christ blessed are they who dwell in your house o lord forever singing your praise praise and honor to you lord jesus christ the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord chapter 1 verses 16 to 21 and 24 Jacob the father of Joseph the husband of Mary of her was born Jesus who is called the Messiah now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph but before they lived together she was found with child through the holy spirit Joseph her husband since he was a righteous man yet unwilling to expose her to shame decided to divorce her quietly such was his intention when behold the angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream and said joseph son of david do not be afraid to take mary your wife in your home for it is through the holy spirit that this child has been conceived in her she will bear a son and you are to Jesus he will save his people from their sins when joseph awoke he did as the angel of the lord had commanded him the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus, jesus christ, christ. dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ saint joseph is a model in front of us in the life of saint joseph we see in him 
a model of gentleness and complete trust in god after both she was found pregnant it would have been quite shocking for him he decided to leave her quietly without sharing with anyone including in his family instead he listened to the voice of god in silence and serenity dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ life can be challenging and sometime we face situation that we cannot share with others in such moments we need to listen to the voice of god and act accordingly jesus spent a lot of time with god and we can benefit from spending quite time with him especially during this lent season let us take courage to face the realities of life and turn to lord jesus for strength and guidance may god bless i believe in god the father, father almighty, almighty creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth and in and jesus christ his, his only son our lord who was conceived by, by the holy spirit born, born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. We. pray that saint joseph said with loving care your only begotten son born of the virgin mary so we may worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit lift up your hearts we, we lift, lift them up to the lord let's give thanks to the lord our god it, it is, is right, right and, and just. just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god 
and on the solemnity of saint joseph to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you for this just man was given by you a spouse to the virgin mother of god and set us a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the holy spirit our lord jesus christ through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adores and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices be pray join with the ears in humble praise as we acclaim holy 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 lord god of host heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest hosanna in the highest hosanna in the highest. blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest hosanna in the highest hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy lord the founder of all holiness may holy therefore this kids we pray by send down your spirit upon them like the default so that they may comfort us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and indeed willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o oh lord we proclaim your death o oh lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of the tan resurrection we offer you o oh lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord you church god abraham heard the fullness of charity together with francis our pope rafael our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face how mercy on us all we pray that with blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints 
who are pleased throughout the ages we may merit to be cohorts to eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed you by divine teaching we dare to say our father who, who art in, in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ pass i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with, with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the pardon and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart i embrace you as you are already there in my heart i unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
to the people crying for release. We will be His instruments of peace. Oh Lord, make us instruments of Your peace. Where there is hatred, let Your love increase. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls of pride and prejudice shall see. Oh, are your instruments of peace? Communion and Deporn. Well done, good and faithful servant. Come, share your master's joy. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection. O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with the food from this altar, as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, justly keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Dear St. Joseph, pure and gentle, guardian of the Savior child, treading with the Virgin Mother, Egypt's desert, rough and wild. Hail St. Joseph, spouse of Mary, best Beyond all saints above In these times of selfish seeking Teach, O oh, teach us how to love Teach how to love